Fantasy Island is directed by Jeff Wadlow and stars Lucy Hale, Maggie Q, Michael Pena, Michael Rooker, and a bunch of other people. And this movie is based on the TV show that was in the 70s and 80s with Ricardo Montalban. And this film is about five people who have come to this island as part of a contest. They've won something. And now that they're here, they are basically living out some fantasies, certain things that you know they may not have in life and being able to do those things whether it be regrets they've had in life before or whether it be things that they want from now on and things get weirder and weirder as the events progress and i guess we now have a bit of a horror movie this was directed by the man who also wrote and directed truth or dare now i did not review truth or dare when it came out in 2018 but if you saw my worst movies of 2018 list that should answer pretty much exactly what I thought of Truth or Dare. So naturally, going into this movie, I probably would not be too excited for it. But actually, one thing did get me excited for it. There was a user review on IMDb that called it 2020 Serenity. Another movie I didn't exactly talk about, but this movie was unintentionally funny. And I did not like it. I didn't love Serenity at all. I thought it was terrible but it was unintentionally funny. Very similarly, Fantasy Island is also a misfire. I watched this movie today in a theater with some people who were there. There were couples, Valentine's Day celebrations, and I was also there, and we were just completely baffled by it. Me and the audience included. There was a couple behind me who kept talking the entire movie, almost doing a commentary on it, which I usually hate, but the woman was so spot on that I just was like, no, no, let them talk. They're saying the right things. They're just saying what I'm thinking right now. You know what? Better they say it than I do. I'm just going to start yelling it at the screen. Every decision in this movie, every scare or lack thereof was dull. It was badly executed. Much like Truth or Dare, it is unintentionally very funny and it, it tries to be a lot scarier and a lot more engaging but it just doesn't work and it feels like wasted potential quite often. The best thing I can say about this movie is the island looks kind of pretty. It's a nice looking island, you know, I had vacation there. Is that the, was that the point of this movie? Was the point of the movie to tell you to go on a holiday to the island? Cause okay, I'll go to the island. I don't want to go to the island for this stuff, but I'll go to the island. Um, also, Maggie Q was not too bad. Like she, she was actually doing a fairly okay job. But the characters, everybody else, and the story, and the way this thing progresses is baffling. I was astonished during a major chunk of this movie, and I don't mean this in a good way. I was astonished at how bad and how embarrassing this got. And the humor in this movie was not exactly helping me at all. This film has lighter moments, and none of them worked. There's these two brothers, for instance, who just have parties and have a great time, and they're, they're trying to just, you know, have a ball in their fantasy, and they had some really cringe-worthy humor that did not work at all. Other stories that were also going on, every now and then there'd be those sprinkles of humor, and they just didn't work. And I have no idea what what they were thinking when actually penning this down in a script. Michael Pena also in this movie, an actor who I really like, was terrible in this. Lucy Hale was awful, even though I thought she was trying in a mo moment here and there in Truth or Dare. None of that here. Here she is awful. Let's talk a little bit about, well, scares or lack thereof, like I said. The horror is handled terribly. It, it feels really simple by the numbers. It's, you know, yeah, there'll be a jump scare like this, sound effect cue like that. Something will go past the screen. Someone will see something and then it's gone. I mean, it's, it's cookie cutter horror. Like, I have just come off of seeing some really great horror movies in the last few months. There have been some really great ones. I was just watching Doctor Sleep the other day again and I loved it. It was great. That's how you handle good horror stuff. And finally, I can't I can't talk about this, but I'm I'm condensing 15 to 20 minutes of thoughts which I can rant about in this movie to down to like a few minutes. But the final twists, the, all the stuff that starts to slowly, you know, come together as the film concludes is 
insane. I I was left speechless. I can't believe certain things in this movie. And, and my God, this film is convoluted. It is so convoluted. It is so messy. And it's, it's jumbled. And the film, even though it tries to tell you everything, because they explain certain aspects, certain twists or whatever, multiple times, none of them make any sense. This movie is... A mess and I obviously do not recommend seeing this go see anything else go see Sonic the Hedgehog go see Birds of Prey um, go see shit man whatever is running just go see something else go see Bad Boys for Life again go see the photograph I'm gonna give Fantasy Island an F rarely have I given it an F if you've seen my cats review you know that was only the third movie on my channel I've said zero this sucks aside from the Fifty Shades movies uh, this is the next one, so it's pretty bad. Uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. Look forward to more reviews very soon. As always, if you like this, please do subscribe, and I'll see you guys at the movies.